All right, hello everyone and welcome to my review of Supernatural Season 5, Episode 20. So, we're really reaching the end game here. So, this episode uh, so it sees the return of Crowley. Hey, where you been? Um, so, what basically what this episode pretty much is, is Sam and Dean need to get the uh, other two rings for the gate. Lucifer they have war and famines and they need death and I believe pestilence is what the other one is uh so Crowley's like hey well I know they're kind of like kind of like their boss or whatever so you know I can get you guys there uh and you know this guy he wants the rings back so you know I'll take you to him so that's what we do this episode so um we have uh, <laughs> Crowley and Dean sneak into the facility, which is obviously, it's a big office building that's now being run by demons. Uh, they don't take Sam in, because Crowley said, I don't like you. Cool. Uh, Dean meets the head boss, and the head boss is like, why do you think I want the rings? I don't need the rings. <laughs> uh, and then he proceeds to whip Dean a new one. Uh, Dean eventually escapes. Uh, he escapes to the bottom level, and then <laughs> Crowley proceeds to put a bag on the guy's head, and it, the bag's got symbols on it, and then he proceeds to use a crowbar and beat the guy unconscious. Uh, when Dean's just like, you know, what the hell was I? You, you, you lied to me. And Crowley's like, well, I needed, you know, the, uh, I needed your expression to be real. I needed like a real reaction from you. Uh, then when they get back to Crowley's little base, uh, he tells Sam that he tells Dean pretty much like on the, the right there, uh, Sam and this guy, uh, they got history. So we're not going to go back to my base. We're going to do this somewhere else. And Dean goes, no, 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 no. We're going to do this at your base. So they get there, Crowley's like, oh, I'm so against this, but whatever. Uh, they remove the bag from the guy's head, and Sam knows what this guy is. Uh, it's his friend Brady from college. And Brady says, you know, well, Brady hasn't been Brady since, like, the beginning of sophomore year. So this guy is a demon who's been possessing Sam's friend for a long time and has been looking out for him so Sam is obviously very pissed goes to attack him Dean tells him no 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 we need this guy uh, eventually when Crowley goes to a demon's nest because this guy ain't talking so Crowley goes to a demon nest to try to find out what he can Sam locks Dean in the bathroom the bathroom and goes to talk to the guy uh, we'll, we'll, we will just call him Brady because even though he's not Brady we'll just call him Brady Sam goes to talk to Brady Brady tells him uh, Bra we find out that Brady introduced him to Jess which is Brady's the reason Sam and Jess got together and he also reveals that Br uh, that he is the one who killed Jess so all this time we thought it was Azazel, Mr. Yellow Eyes. It actually was Brady this entire time. And you know, he's taunting Sam, like, you know, like he's like, oh, she was so startled. You know, the look on her face and all that type of stuff. Sam goes with the knife to kill him. I think he's gonna, but Sam, thankfully, isn't an idiot and doesn't kill him. Because we still need answers from the guy. He lets Dean out. Crowley comes back, and Crowley reveals that he might have let it slip the angels that Brady is on his team. You know, they're working with Brady to absurd, to usurp the devil, and Brady just went, oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> uh, then, a hellhound comes to their house, because they were being tracked by Crowley. Uh, Crowley got traced. So, Crowley dips. <laughs> And that's the thing, you think, oh god, he abandoned him, but he didn't abandon him. He comes back with his own hellhound, and his hellhound kills the other hellhound. And they escape. All four of them. 
they eventually go to an alleyway where Sam kills Brady. And that's the episode. Uh, Brady also gives them the... Before they kill Brady, he gives them the location of where Pestilence might be. So there's that. That's the episode. Uh, it's not the best episode. It doesn't advance the story too much, but it does advance the story. It's just pretty much setting up that, yes, they want Pestilence and Crowley's back. That's pretty much what this episode's here for. So overall, I found it... Oh, uh, I mean, it's still enjoyable. The stuff with Brady, you know, like him revealing, oh, he's the one who killed Jazz. That's nice stuff. I really like that. And also showing that, you know, like, and they do show in a couple episode after this that, like, yeah, Sam's had people watching him his whole life. And he hasn't even known. So I do like that type of stuff. So, yeah, overall, I'm going to give this episode 8 out of 10, I think. I think that's a proper rating. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.